Hi, this is Michael Rubin, and today we're going to finish up learning the names of the overdraws from holes 7 through 10 on the C diatonic harmonica. This will complete the layout for the entire C harmonica. And then we'll have to do something else. So, 7 draw uh, is the note B, which is to the right of the three black keys on the keyboard. And 7 blow is the note C. B is the lower of the two notes, so we're going to overdraw from 7 through 10, actually. And when we do, it's going to go one note higher than the blow note. So in this case, C sharp, or D flat. So we're going to go from B, change the shape of our mouth, it's going to become D flat. And here we go. Ta-da! Okay, 8 draw is the note D, which is in the middle of the two black keys. 8 blow is the note E, which is to the right, or excuse me, yeah, which is to the right of the two black keys. When we overdraw on the D, it will go one note higher than the E note to F. However, we already have an F on the diatonic harmonica. 9 draw. So when you overdraw an 8, it's physically possible to do it, but it will create a duplicate note. I just don't fool with it. I play 9 draw. I don't mess with 8 overdraw. 9 draw is F, which on the keyboard is to the left of the two black keys. 9 blow is G, which is in the left middle of the two black keys. One note higher than G is G sharp, otherwise known as A flat. So when we overdraw the F, it will come higher to A flat. You hear the squeak? One of the things about overdraws is that it is very difficult to get a nice sounding tone without a squeak sometimes on the higher pitched harmonicas. Personally, I rarely ever play overblows at all on anything higher than a B-flat harmonica. I just don't mess with it. However, I am a believer that if you work hard you can overcome anything. So if I chose to work on my physical technique if I chose to learn all kinds of tricks about machinery and master those tricks, I fully believe that I could take an F-sharp harmonica and overdraw hole number 10. The reality is, I care about a lot of other stuff more. It's just not that important to me right now. But, you know, perhaps it will be more important to me later. So, you got a little squeak on the draw. Now, 10 draw is A, which on the keyboard is to the right middle of the three black keys, and 10 blow is C. So, uh, and C is to the left of the two black keys. So when you overdraw on 10, it will go one note higher than C to C sharp, which is actually the highest distance between a draw note and an overdraw. So let's see if I can do it on a C harp. There you go. So, let's see if we can get this nicely. <laughs> it's like a mirror image. It's real tough to, to do this kind of stuff. Okay. <laughs> Pause. So, um, Above hole number one is the blow note C, and three rows above that it says D sharp, that's the overblow. So four blow above that, you got a C and a, that for the blow note and D sharp above that. Five blow is E, so you got the overblow is F sharp. Six blow is G, the overblow is A sharp. Then look at seven, look at the draw note. The draw note is B, below that uh, about four rows down is the overdraw C sharp. 8 overdraw, I'm choosing not to write it down because it's a duplicate. 9 draw is F, the overdraw is G sharp. And 10 draw is A, the overdraw is C sharp. Alright, so
the next video promises to be a whole new experience. Yay! Um, yeah, let's see if I can play a full chromatic scale on this C harp. We'll see with all the squeakiness. See, even one overblow squeaks. Okay. Uh, thanks very much. I'll see you soon.